Hi, my name is Michael Byrne. I've been lucky enough to be involved in the tile business for 39 years. I was attracted to tile for its beauty and its durability. But one thing about tile, it's neither a waterproofing material or a structural material, and it depends on a firm base for its longevity. In this segment, I'm going to be talking about supporting backer boards on the floor, uh, full face stud support, and the joist and stud spacing that you'll need to get the best advantage out of your cement backer boards. Support is especially critical when you're installing cement backer boards on a floor because the floor has to support the weight of all the people walking on it, plus all the furnishings. On this example here, we have floor joist set at 16 inch on center spacing and for a subfloor we're using a piece of three quarter inch exterior grade plywood. Now, ceramic tiles can be installed over 24 inch on center spacing, but that requires additional layers of plywood and possibly the addition of a membrane. So the simplest way to do it, stick with 16 inch on center and go with the three quarter inch plywood. Now, when we're installing the backer board, you can't use regular fasteners. Either use hot tip, uh, galvanized roofing nails, or high-low rock-on screws made specifically for use with cement backer boards. Now, you can't just fasten the board down to the floor. If you do that, you get air underneath the board, and that can cause tiles to crack. So the manufacturers of all backer boards, cement or not, require the use of thin-set mortar uh, spread over the floor to act as a support plane for the board. It's not glue or lamination. It's just to eliminate the air from underneath the board. Now, I've spread the thin set with this quarter by quarter square notch trowel, and that gives me a nice uniform layer. But I couldn't use this trowel to support the tiles. The tiles are larger. They need to have 95% minimum adhesive contact. So I use a three quarter by one quarter U notch trowel to spread the thin set for the floor tile. Installing backer boards on the walls is a little bit different. We still want 16 inch on center spacing for the studs, but there are some critical details that are very, very important with cement backer boards. For example, in this corner, we want full face stud support so there'll be enough room for the fasteners to reach to the edge of the backer board. Also, we want blocking any place where two boards meet so that the edge of the board is fully supported. And down below, we have blocking uh, that we can use as an anchor for the lower edge of the board. With cement backer boards and other type of backer boards, you can get extended warranties and terrific durability as long as the installation is done properly. On floors, we want 16 inch on center spacing, the support plane of thin set mortar underneath the backer board. Up on the walls, we want 16 inch on center spacing for the studs. We want full face support in the corners. And there should be blocking to support the board ends, whether it's in the middle of the wall or down at the bottom of the, of the tub. I'm Michael Byrne. Thanks for taking the time to watch this segment. And thanks for selecting tile.